What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nugs B. Thanks for tuning in for Together FTR. And I am joined by none other than Tony Murphy, the man, the myth, the legend. You know how they My do, guy. Appreciate you, man. My guy. So, today we're going to talk about a couple few things. And the first thing I want to talk about is my man right here. I want to go ahead and let him plug whatever he wants right now. We're going to go ahead and set it up. So, everything that's going on with him, you're about to know. Well, brother, <clears throat> I apologize. You good? First, I want to say I appreciate you for the hat. Yeah, yeah. I, we rocking. You Couldn't know, we rocking out here. you, brother. <laughs> 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 no, nah, man, first I want to say, bro, I appreciate you, bro, for allowing us to come on your platform. Yeah. You know, you teamed up with Spice Up Productions, bro. You know what I mean? Y'all are really more powerful than you think, bro, because it's all about the media, bro, who controls the media and who controls... You know the truth. Yeah. So, and I know that's what you bring. Hundred percent. To the platform every time. We're just grateful that uh, you allow us on your platform, bro. Yeah. That's and what's then, up, man. And then second, bro, what are we doing right now? It ain't really what I'm doing. Is uh, I got a group called the Young Brillionaires, and what we do is uh, the Young Brillionaires stands for Brilliant Mind with a Millionaire's Grind. You I know, love you that. Can be bro. anything you want to be. A- Dope you can do slogan. anything that you want to do. Yeah. As long as you, you know, the every millionaire has told you, told you what they've done in a book. You Period. You can go pick up a book. Yeah. These days you can get on the audio and go listen yeah, to the book. Yeah, yeah. Straight <laughs> you up. Know, you you can listen read. to them. They got somebody reading yeah, bro, for them. But they've you know? all told, you know, so that's my group, the Young Billionaires. And we, um, we're we with Facing Hunger Food Drive right now. And we're doing the food drive, bro, every month. For a city, so if anybody needs any food, if you know anybody that needs any food, yeah, make sure you get a hold of me. If you're in Ironton, Rock Hill, Cold Grove, and even Ashland, you know, yeah. I really, it, 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 we just want to help feed the tri-state area as much as we can. Absolutely, we got. Uh, we just finished up the King of the Courts. You already know I'm rapping too. Hold on, let me stand up, show some love, man. Let me stand up, show some love real quick. Come on, baby. Yeah, man, we just finished that up. And you know what we do for the community, man. Yeah. We like to come out. We uh, just finished up the Iron to Clean Up. Mm -hmm. Got with the mayor down there. and uh, That's awesome. Me and a couple guys from the... Young Brainers went down and helped clean this city up. and That's what it's about, bro. Yeah, Getting bro. like-minded people in your community to make moves yeah. that are on a different level, man. You got to think, if you can get 100 people to truly follow somebody who has a good mindset and all of them are like-minded and you have a plan and you got a goals, you got things you can attain with those yeah. people, bro, you're making moves for your country. You're yeah. making moves for your towns. You're yeah, making bro. moves for your your, the, your favorite states, you know, like whatever yeah, it is, bro. man, you're trying to make big moves though. And that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, it really man. is. It's just about everybody coming together. You yeah. Know, like the King of the Courts, there's, you know, 60, 70 sponsors. I bro. couldn't have did it without the the city's help, you know. I every... couldn't believe how many people were there, bro. Man, I mean, dude, it crazy? was crazy. Bro. Especially Saturday. Hey, oh my, my god, like, bro, this was. I gotta take my hat this off. This was. Too. I mean, this was next level. Like, dude, I was so impressed bro. with just how, how like you just how you conduct yourself in general, man. When you're in that type of environment, that yeah, you're bro. showing nothing but love to everybody, man. You're involving yeah, kids, bro. bro. That's what this is about. It's just, about the future, bro. bro it yeah. ain't about us. I just remember whenever I was a kid, bro. There's so many people in the city that. Looked at me and helped me out, yep. and you know was there for me and my family, my brothers, my yeah, my my friends, you know. So something right that me and my friends, if we got the resources, if we got to, if we know the people that want to help, yeah, and then we come to them with something that's legit, yes, and something that they would want to put their name on, then you know they ride with it, and it's just a blessing, bro. Yeah, that we get to reach this many people, and then. Off of that, you know, we got the food drive, like you said. We that's got so the, cool, man. I'm that's the that's Thanksgiving just awesome. drive coming up. Yep. And you know, I've talked to you about it. Hundred percent. We, we got to get to Queens of the Courts. Queens of the somewhere. Courts, man. We got to set that up for real. That's gonna be awesome, like, dude. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to get it in because I was going to do it Labor Day weekend. Yeah. But I had forgot before I told you. Mm-hmm. DJ sounds good. Mm-hmm. Like. I can't. I can't speak on it too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I would tip my hat to it. Yeah. Like, hey, I can't speak too much, but the 
the fest that DJ Sounds Good's about to throw. Okay. I had to clear out all of September. I got bro. you, bro. Like, yeah, that's what's up, man. Hey, I don't, look. Like, I'm, I know I got to get to Queens in there sometime. Yeah. And it takes some time, you know? Absolutely. You got to develop, man. You yeah, can't just... You don't want to go in there and do something that's going to be... I don't want to half-ass. That's you know, literally what man. I was about to yeah. say. You don't want to go in there and, 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 and pull half-ass because then you you feel that you cheated yourself and you cheated everybody who's yeah. involved. You're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah. I, and I don't want to do that, bro. So no. We got a lot of things uh, lined up, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, man, we just... It's just a blessing, bro. Yeah. You know? It's that's just true, a blessing, man. man. It's crazy. So, check it out. So since we're on the thing of you plugging, you know, we on the subject of that. Definitely. I want you to go ahead and let me know what you got. And let us know. You got the viewers. We got the people tuned in. Go ahead and let everybody know what's going to happen in the next five years. Give me a couple few yeah. things. Don't give away all the sauce because you don't want to give all the ingredients. But you if you can, it? if you can, let me know a couple few things and let the people know a couple few things you got. Next, next five years. Next five years. I want to build the... I, I, I'm going to build. I'm not wanting mm -hmm. to build. I'm going to build baby. one of the best, biggest companies in Ironton. Let's go. By year five. Let's go. Bro, Let's go. I want to create more. I want to give more people. I want to get more people making a hundred thousand dollars a year. Like people deserve to live that life. Bro. Yes. Like you deserve to make a hundred thousand. It don't take you much to make a hundred thousand a year. No. In order you know? to become a billionaire, you need five viable incomes. That's what you need. Five yeah, yeah, viable yeah. incomes that you have passive money, you have money that you're making on the daily or weekly. That's how you become a millionaire, man. Yeah, like yeah. putting all your incomes, laying five out to make one big, big sister corporation type yeah, deal. Like it's I essentially mean, like that. I would like to make him a millionaire, but yeah, I'm talking about in general. <laughs> yeah, 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 but you know, I just want to, I just want to get him a hundred stacks. Yeah, of like, yeah, that's I, I know, I know that's a goal that's reachable. And then they could do it. They and take that what, and then try to move it up. Yeah, and what I'm bringing to the table and what I'm going to offer and bring to the table. Yeah, I know that is 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 damn near possible for them to do that mm -hmm. in six months, let alone a year. Absolutely, you know I mean? bro, one hundred percent. Is this about how much grind, how much hustle you got, and how much you're willing to give? Yeah, to a company, how much you're willing to go out there and you know. Put, put, all, put on, there. yeah, put yeah, on. Put, I mean, that's all you're really trying to do. See what you're worth. Yeah. You act what you're worth. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, man, but the next Definitely. five years are looking beautiful. They really yeah, are. Bro. You know, yeah, there's bro. there's some real good things that are coming, and that's just from, in general, with the community we're building, man, from all the people man. we're trying to network and plug with and really rock with, man, because that's how I rock. I like to promote people that are grinding. I don't, yeah, I'm not going to promote you if you ain't helping yourself. Yeah, if you bro. ain't out here getting after it, don't try to hit yeah. me up and try to get on. Not only help you yourself, know. but help others. Exactly, you but I mean? that's the first one. I want to see if you even believe it? in you. Yeah. If you don't believe in you, then yeah. you definitely ain't going to believe in nobody else. Definitely. You know, I feel like it's a system that only certain humans have because most uh, humans, in my opinion, are complacent. And I feel like they get comfortable in their life. Oh, I'm cool watching this little cable TV, drinking a little Bud Light, and I'm not going to worry about nobody else but me and my little nine to five. Mm -hmm. That's not how we rock. Yeah, That's not right. how we do it. And, and if you get more people involved in that, I just feel that it's truly going to be something great for our community. Yeah, bro. <clears throat> and you know, you can work at nine to five. Yeah. The nine to five just got to be worth it. Exactly. Know? and yeah. Or the nine to five, you do that. And then when you get off that, you work on your ambition to try to help build something that is bigger than yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely, bro. You always want to have some type of fundraiser. Oh, no matter if you're, you know, if I got a business in a city, I want to try to make sure that I got something in place to where I'm giving back. Yeah, yeah. Because, bro, if I'm, a, Need if I'm to. in a city, bro, and everybody's coming and shopping with me, mm -hmm. what does it look like with me just taking it back to my family? Yeah. And we all eat good. Absolutely. And, and come then, back to the business and look at you. And I want and, you to spend your money with me. Yeah, like, bro, what, what kind of sense does that make, bro? It looks crazy, bro. You get what, what I mean? mean? And, but... So I think, and that's just what I believe. Yeah, you know, you should I'm always want to give back. You should always want to do more, and you know, you should always want to mentor someone and push them up, bring them up, because you know what position you was in when you needed the help. Positivity begets positivity, my friend. And, and I got a lot of good it, mentors. Same, like me. 
I got bro, a Jedi it, counsel, baby. That's it, why I call them. That's who I look to. That's my yeah, Jedi counsel, bro. Yeah, I reach out. Yeah. I get all their opinions, and I form my own opinion. Yeah, brother. That's how I rock, man. I've been doing that since I was probably 17, 18 years old, man. Sometimes I just roll with their opinion, bro, because I know Same. my- Same, like, bro. bro. Like, I know me, and I'm like- We're impulsive. Maybe. You know what I mean? Impulsivity gets me all the time, bro. I'm wild, you, you get know? Get feelings invested. Yeah, you, know? you we got to if you look it's in It's hard when you got your feelings You got invested. your emotions, you got biased opinions, you're looking at it from inside. Mm-hmm. When you got people that's going to come out and they from the outside of the box, they looking at you like, "Hey, bro, this is where you messing up, this that and the third, blah blah blah." Yeah, that's bro, how yeah. you build. You, you got to have a that. council, man. Yeah. You got to. You got some people older than you. You got yes. people younger than you. Yes. You got people that's your age. Yes, peers. You got you got to have got all peers, three, man. You got strong people, bro. That, that that has the mindset to tell you something that you know they really and truly believe. Absolutely, they're not gonna be a yes man when you need them to be a constructive criticism. Yeah, bro. You get not what even, I'm saying? Yeah, but if I'm doing good, tell me I'm doing good. Like Period. That. Praise me yes. at the same time, and I'm yeah. gonna praise you even yeah. more. I'm gonna try to out praise you. I'm gonna yeah. try to. I'm gonna try to give I'm you more. Yeah. You get what I mean? But don't don't sit there and let somebody build themselves up and not show them the love too. Yeah. Because you don't send the roses now, That's you're gonna be sending them at the funeral. That's just as important, bro. You know, it's criticizing criticizing someone. Yeah. And then you know. On the other side, letting them know whenever they're doing right. So, you are one hundred percent correct, that's my just friend. What it is, bro, and we we just need a lot more people out here like that. And yeah, so if you had to break it down for it for like one piece of advice to an entrepreneur right now in the day that we're living in, two thousand twenty three, about to be two thousand twenty four, what would you tell them? One piece is all you get. Just one right, one one piece. Well, first I'm gonna I'm gonna explain like it's like <laughs> I'm just getting started. Like I'm not even like on the scale of being an entrepreneur, like a one to ten, I'm like a two. Yeah. So I can only tell you what them people tell me. You know. Hey, I mean? that's still you spreading the knowledge. Yeah, bro. I'm spreading I mean, the knowledge. And you're the bridge, man. The best. One well, some of the best advice they tell me is you can't be spread out too thin. Nope. You got to do one thing at a time, Tony. Like you got to. Take your time and develop something first. Like you gotta, you can't you can't do everything for everybody. Even you might be good at selling cars. You might be good at selling roofs. You might be good at selling life insurance. You might be good at selling car insurance. But brother, where are they gonna know you? At? Like the, if you just go to one thing and maximize that out, you have a better chance of being a success. And. uh that's why I'm going all in with BNS. <laughs> Swear, bro. So listen. Hey, that's, why, that's why your boy, like, I, I thought about that and I was like, all right. So well, if I'm going to go all in, I'm going to go all in on myself and build myself up, my own company up and, you know. It's so crazy that you say that because I truly should have been taking that advice for the last 10 years I've been making music, bro. <clears throat> I started doing the podcast. I was doing podcast music, and we working on a comic book. Me and my big brother, right? We got yeah. some dope ass art. I wrote. I built the whole dope. universe, bro. He can draw. He done all my tats, bro. Like you know, he's done every single one of my tattoos besides one. Um, and the thing is, bro, That's I awesome. had too many, too many irons in the fire, man, and it, it spread me so thin that I was losing my motivation. Yeah. I was losing my ambition. So then I kicked back. Yeah. And I'm people like, you know what? People think you make a lot of money doing that, but yeah. it's really hard to make a lot of money doing yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> bro. It is when you like, get one that's of them established. The that's yeah. when you do it. Yeah, bro. Like we if you got straight, please, sir. Yeah, bro. Like Thank if you, you got one thing, bro, that you maximize in and you spend you mean most of your time in. Mm-hmm. Like you're gonna have to spend eight hours a day on one thing, bro. Period. Like, Just to get any sort of one up. It don't matter what time that is, bro. It could be three in the morning. To you know, to do your eight hours. Yeah, but you just gotta you gotta spend more time on one thing than you do on everything else. I believe yeah. that's true. And that's some of the best advice I've gotten. It's like and it an, took me a while, but I tried to figure it out. Yeah. yeah, an analogy that I heard a long time ago that really made sense is like if you have twelve pictures that are all messed up and they're not centered. Why would you try to fix all 12 of them at once? And why wouldn't you just go to the first one, fix it perfect, go to the second one, fix it perfect. 
go to the third one, fix it. Perfect. It's the same thing, man. Like if you got 12 businesses or 12 ventures you're trying to do, why are you trying to do all of them? You ain't got 12 arms, bro. You got two. You work on one picture, fix it. Boom. It's done. I think it's just because, bro, when you just hit this business world, it's so fun doing being an entrepreneur or doing real real life business. Yeah. That you think that, well, shit. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry for cussing, bro. Yeah, it's all great. You think, bro, with shit. If I can sell shoes over here, if I can sell, like, Facebook, if you don't know, bro, your Facebook market, it's all one big marketplace. Bro, Bro, Facebook is the bread and butter of this operation. Like, right. Facebook shows nothing but love, you know and I'm trying de- to build the like, YouTube. Yeah, you it's it's hard. You know the demographics and getting all that, bro. Like, it's a family place. Like, it's, it's where your whole family's at. Mm-hmm. Instagram is, like, where all the single people are at. Like, That's the true. Bachelors, like, for the, <laughs> you know, when you get single, you like... I never thought like, of that, bro. Like, bro like, you, Snapchat and Instagram yeah, are for yeah. the singles, bro. Yeah, bro. Holy shit, I never thought of that. That's brilliant. Yeah, bro. And, Young and billionaires, bro. Forget, That's all I'm saying. It's hey, bro, brilliant out here. Don't forget about plenty of fish, too. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget about Christian Mingle. Don't, for, don't forget about Christian Mingle, my guy. Nah, bro, you can't forget you that know, one. So when you're using Facebook, bro, there's a lot of, there's a lot of products or brands or you know music, that, podcast, uh, uh, reels. You, you got this, that, and the third. You got all of them. Is. Yeah, you can just use it to figure out who your audience is. That's true. It's a good and starting you know, tool. Yes, yeah, good you starting know, tool. Then foundation. You can, you can pertain to your audience. So yeah, that's crazy, bro. It definitely is, bro. So yeah, that piece of advice is brilliant. It should reconnect. Yeah. yeah that, that piece of advice is brilliant, man. And everything about that was just tremendous. Uh, I, I appreciate you coming on the show so much, man. That means so much to me. And we can really link up and just show everybody what we're talking about, what we got going on, this, that, and the third. And the next thing I want you to tell these people is, I want you to tell me three most influential people in your life and how they have impacted you. Yeah. Three most influential people, bro. Yes, sir. That's a it's a deep ass question. Yes, sir. Bro. You know I come with them. You know I come with nothing less. Yeah, bro. I think my influential people. People who made people, the biggest impacts. Well, one is my brother Jared, and she just passed away. Yeah. Not too long ago, bro. But he lived on forever. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really so, sorry bro, about that, bro, man. Oh no, bro. You straight, bro. We got to die. Somebody, yeah. Bro, That's bro. true. That's true. Mortality we, is uh, we all the great thing about humans, you know? Yeah, bro. Because yeah. that's why the gods have always, you know, like in old stories and like Norse mythology and Greek mythology, the gods always envied the humans because they lived forever. They couldn't know true love. They couldn't know true passion because they lived forever. Yeah. Humans, we know true love. We know passion. We know what it is to push it all and put it all on the line because you might not be here tomorrow. Yeah, bro. So you gotta let people know every day that you love them. Yes, definitely. I tell my brothers every day I love them, bro. Like, and you know, I built my own family because you know my blood family died, didn't work out. You know what I mean? So I, I built my own. You know, hey, and these bro. motherfuckers adopted, love me, bro. You know, like my I'm, mom I, had nine kids of her own and adopted nine of us. That's crazy, bro. Like, shout talking, out to her, man. That's that's her, that's, that's crazy, mom, Martha, baby, like, dude. That's awesome. That's, yeah, bro. She was a dog, bro, and all of us were scared of her. <laughs> had, had y'all with the iron uh, fist, bro. Uh, uh, she wasn't 18, fucking around. Bro. She wasn't playing around, bro. Had yeah, y'all in line, baby. In line. I love Man, that. If my brother Jared, it'd be my brother Pete, you know, because okay. he always had a good example. That's awesome. Like, bro, I got a lot of good role models, man. Yeah, bro. I got role, a lot models. Of good role models. That's that's tremendous. I got a lot of good role models. Bro. Yeah. And then, you know, the last one, which is the first one. Mm hmm. Is uh, Jesus Christ. Bro. Absolutely. Like, that's the only mentor. 100%. I mean, I fought with my brother Jerry and my brother Pete, but yeah. God is... Here's uh, the thing about it, God man. God is the one, you know, the all, the all and the... Everything, everything. all together, yeah. Yes, so this is the thing about it, man. The true teachings of Christ are some of the most brilliant things that were ever written on this earth. There's Definitely. no denying that. For anybody who doesn't believe in I Christianity, believe that. that's cool, whatever. It, we're not worried about that. What we're worried about is the true teachings of Christ. Right yeah. now, if you live by that, or at least try to be the best person you can be in that type of level, 
you truly are doing right by your community. Yes. You're doing right by yourself. You're doing right by your family. And that's something that has always held strong with me, even though my beliefs might be different. Yeah, bro. You get what I mean? Like, Yeah, bro. Just, I just want to be more Christ-like. You know what I mean? That's true. The true teachings, yeah, man, bro. was that's just hard. beautiful. Even, even if you don't believe that shit, yeah. if I don't believe... It don't, it don't matter, matter. Bro. no. Like, you know, we all believe what we believe in. Absolutely. But you know me, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm trying to get to heaven. You yeah. know, look, I feel <laughs> it. Heaven sounds sweet to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it yeah. sounds to you. Yeah. But my dog. Sound, sound pretty good. Sound pretty good. So the next thing I got to ask you, my man. I got to ask you something. Like, Let's hear it, baby. Who's Lock the, it on me. Who's the, like the three most influential people to you? So me, it's hard to really... I, okay, so I'll give you three... In the time period I'm in right now in my life, right in the present, All right. I'll say my big brother who's sitting right over here, that's one of the most influential dudes in my life. I mean, oh. he, you know, <laughs> he going to clown me now. He going to clown me now. Yeah, like, hey, man, don't be no. talking, don't like be talking about me like that, man. Yeah, no, nah, but he he's definitely, I'm he's top three, man. And his impact, I'm going to say, the reason he impacts me so much, man, is like in just one little example, long story long, y'all know how I rock. I tell you 30 stories in one, in tell two him. minutes. Like, dude, so bro. realistically, the reason he impacted me so much as a man is because... I'm a father. He's a father. He's been a father for 20 years. You know, I've been a father for 10. He's had got a decade on me of being a dad. He broke stuff down for me whenever I would talk to him about situations like, hey, man, am I doing the right thing? Am I being an asshole? Mm -hmm. Am I doing right by what I should? Sometimes you need that counsel. I needed that the Jedi counsel, bro. This is, uh, this is you know, this is Obi-Wan. Also, he part of the Jedi. He's a, yeah, uh, he's, he's Obi-Wan, bro. He said. might be Yoda. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. You know, he might be Yoda, <laughs> baby. You know, I'm always talking shit to him, but, you know, I got show him his love man that's Good really guy. my guy yeah, and yeah. i would say him and another to expand on that another reason the next person i'm gonna say uh has impacted me the most and is influential in my life yeah. is eric lambert mr lambert ninth grade history teacher at uh blazer literally one of my best friends and my brothers i tell him we talk we say i love you you know i love you each time we on the phone it's love bro like yeah. that's my family he wasn't telling you this when he was a kid was no he? no 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. I ain't gonna lie, I had to check Mr. Oh, Lambert real quick. Right, nah, said, bro, so look, I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you the story. Ninth grade, I was not, just going to So, so like, peep this. Nah, yeah, yeah that, playing, damn, playing. the way I worded that, Mr. man, Lambert, it got, it we got respect you, bro. We respect. That's my guy, man. It's he already knows. So check it out. During high school, we was, you know, cool, man. Like, he really messed, uh, you, you know. You always he, have that teacher there. Bro, he, he him and Mr. Step, bro. Kevin Step, shout out him too. So, with him, me and my homie Chantel, we would be kicking it in the class, bro. And he just always vibed with us. He's, he's the type of dude that's a teacher that relates more with the outcasts and the misfits and the people who ain't just all, like, uppity and preppy. He came from nothing just like us, bro. He came from nothing and he understands the people that don't have that you know, that special treatment type deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he's just solid. He know if you need help. Like, he know if you in a... He understands you. Yes, bro. Yeah. He can relate to you in a level where he puts himself in your shoes and, and, and levels down to you, even as an adult. And he would do that to us in school, man. He was just such a mentor in school. Yeah, but I was telling somebody the other day, a lot of your mentors or a lot of people that support you I live the same life as you, and they can't understand that from you, bro. Like you're 100 percent correct. I believe that. Yeah. Well, go ahead. What you just saying? So uh, the, it goes into what I said about my big brother as well. Man is like so he. You know, he's been a father for 25 years. Mm. Same thing, bro. I reach out to him. He's a part of the council. I'm like, hey, man, I did this. Or what should I do about this situation with my kids or this, that, and the third? Because I'm not no perfect parent, bro. I might be too overbearing. And they've mm. checked me on it plenty of times. I might be too strict sometimes. I might be too involved. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, Joe Jackson was too involved, bro. And you yeah, got Michael. Bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm being honest. And you know, a lot of us, bro, didn't have the mom and dad. Yes. And the the perfect leadership role. Yes. We, so with the way we be a dad is just to try to figure that shit out. Yes, that's all I'm trying like, to do. You know what I mean? like, uh, that's all I'm trying to and do. You got a little girl, bro. So and I, got, I got a girl and a boy and another boy, boy about to oh, be yeah, born bro, you got all in like bro. two like, weeks. I'm, well, I got a little girl. Yeah. So what I'm saying is like, so I got a little girl and I'm like, well, damn, I'm going to be too hard on it. Yeah. Like, Man, I gotta slow down. Yeah, know, yeah. You might feel, yeah. You, you know, because yeah, it's you a hard. Say never been around it before. Yeah, it's a it, it's a hard balance. It's something you haven't experienced as well. You haven't experienced it, and then turn around, and now you got to be this person's everything. And, and hold on, oh, not only ahead, that, yeah. bro. <laughs> Have you ever tried to do girl, little girl's hair? 
Oh, I'm not good at it. I just do a high bun. I do the messy <laughs> bun. And I do the ponytail. And I get you two ponytails if you want those. But that's it, baby. I used to use a vacuum cleaner to give my daughter a ponytail. Oh, I used to get that. <laughs> the hose, bro. I never Jeez. thought about that. Like, that's brilliant. That's bro, brilliant, like, man. I've, now I struggle with that. Like, that's one of it's the tough. Things, bro. Yeah. It's tough, man. So with, with, with Mr. Lambert, man... He just looked out for me so tough in school and then turn around when I get out of school, man, we end up linking up, hanging out, doing the podcast. And it just, it turned into him pretty much being like another big brother to me. Mm-hmm. Like I had another big brother that I just, you know, I got, I got right for me and I would reach out to him and be like, you know, this, that, and a third about my kids. And he would straight up be like, oh bro, you're being, you're being too much right now. Like you just yeah, need to lay back. Out. Look, it ain't the end of the world. And I'm gonna say a quote by Chris, my big brother over here. Mm-hmm. If it does, if it won't matter in three months, why does it matter today? And when he yeah. said that to me, bro, I was like, "Wow, it's not gonna matter next year. It ain't gonna matter probably in two weeks. Why am I over here getting all pressed about it and getting all bent out of shape? Ain't no point yeah, in it, bro. And in that, you know, big bro went and fought for the country. You know, yeah, I mean? like, you know, he did. He didn't went and did a lot of real shit. He'd know? been around the world. <laughs> you know, he's he seen I'm a thing or two and done a thing or two. You know, I'm over here getting mad over nothing. Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> I'm worried. I, I'm over here not being grateful for what I've experienced and the bubble that we live in. Like I've been through some things. I ain't had no perfect life, but in reality. Bro, we got it way better than other countries. We've got it way better than other states and cities and yeah. other places, man. We're blessed. We, we, you know, we've... A lot to be grateful for. Yes. And that that's all it's really about, man. Like, it's just very... A lot of things are taken for granted, and I try not to do that ever. Yeah. I try my best to always thank everything in my life and really appreciate those things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, hey, the, so who's number three? Destin? Dustin's number three. Oh Dustin's my number God. three. You called it. So, <laughs> man, so, I you chance. called it. Like, so, that's my dog. The Every reason I see you, I see him. That that's period, really bro. Right. When you see me, you see Dustin. That's, that's what it real, is, bro. bro. That's my fucking dog. Like, that's my road dog, my guy. So, here's the thing about it the reason he's impacted me so much in influential wise is because I've always been the type of dude that is irrational. And wild, and I pop off quick, and I got a hot head, and I don't really care, and like I don't like disrespect, and I'm trying to be, you know, a better person and not, you know, allow things to get me out of my character. Mm. And he's always been there, bro, to really be the yin to my yang, like that balance of like hot and that cold. You get what I'm saying, bro? bro. And it forms ice. It forms some ice that's so solid, and that's what you need that in your life, bro. And I'm blessed enough to have a family I created that love me no matter what, bro. No matter if I'm you know, doing this, that, and the third, or I'm falling in love with, you know, a hoe or something, or I'm drinking on the weekends too much, or I'm doing whatever yeah, in my bro. life, bro. If I'm slipping, they always make sure I'm right, bro. Like, yeah, bro. you know, they throw me a surprise birthday party uh, Sunday, bro. Yeah. Or, or Tuesday, rather. No, Sunday was Father's Day. Tuesday was my birthday, right? Yeah. So I'm chilling, bro. I go to work, you Dang, know. Ain't do... nobody thinking about me. Nothing, bro. I'm like, damn, <laughs> like, they forgot about it, motherfucker. Yeah. I was a little sad, bro. I was gonna listen to some sad country or something, cry yeah. a little bit. I even told him that I was I'll put my, my picture yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, the picture. He, yeah, so I'll be listening to Shell Crow and Kiff. <laughs> I can't look at you. While I'm lying. Yeah, yeah. let's go. <laughs> what oh, it is It was one of those, bro. I was about yeah. to just go to bed at 7 o'clock. I was ready at 7.30 to go to bed, bro. I was like, I'm look, I'm done, bro. I'm going to eat me a little food. I'm going to go to sleep. So then I'm like, you know what? Actually, I'm going to go mix some music, bro. I'm going to get out of my head. I'm going to go mix some of the music I've been recording lately. Mm-hmm. And I go in there, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm running through it or whatever and all this. And then I had to take a piss, bro. So I walk out the studio, walk into the bathroom, uh, like towards the bathroom. The hallway's right here. The living room, you can look through. And I see him sitting on my couch, my girl sitting on the couch, and my dude Sauce, my other brother, He's standing, you know, just chilling. And he was like, oh, bro, you weren't supposed to come out yet. You know what I mean? Like, they, you know, they were trying to set yeah, it all man, up. You're too smart, bro. And I was like, and I was like, you know, was I was like, damn, bro. I was like, these motherfuckers, I was like, they went ahead and, you know, they they, they ruined the good surprise on me. You know what I'm saying? They, they had to do another surprise. You know, they had the second one coming after that. Damn. So then everybody pulls up. They got me a cake. My fucking dude pulled me some fucking fresh ass Jordan 1s, bro. Like, crispy, clean. Like, Damn, got me some, my dude's socks got me some fucking socks. Like, they just got me all the way together, bro. Like, and they all pulled up and just showed me love, bro. And, like, they know more than anybody. I don't have nobody besides them. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, what, like I, my birthday is July fifth. Yeah, I hope. But my I, son's is the seventh, bro, yeah, and then bro. his is the tenth, and then Salt's is the twenty fourth, yeah, and bro. then my next son, August, his is gonna be between the fifth and the tenth. Damn. Swear, oh, bro. I just said that. So, case, July, we turning up in case my homeboys is listening. Like yeah. my birthday is the fifth. <laughs> He got Jordans. Yeah, he I got. A, he got a, uh, I got some uh, yeah, Rick and Morty socks. Rick and Morty socks. I got socks. a cake, and I went out the roadhouse. house. Whole cake, bro yeah. house. Like, <laughs> yeah, I put them straight I'm on blast. Saying, like, straight on blast. Y'all better show up for Tony. Ain't no man. way that my homeboys ain't gonna <laughs> leave me down like that. Oh Damn, man, man, I love it. I love it, bro. So, next thing I got to go on to after the influential people mm-hmm. is in what ways are you more different? From the person you were in high school. What's the Man, biggest things you bro. changed with, bro? Back in the back in whenever you're uh leaving high school, you think you have to uphold an image. Yeah. And you think that you gotta be the man, you think you gotta be this certain type of person. Mm-hmm. But all you gotta really do is be a good person, bro. Yeah. So, you know, it took me a while. It's not even uh high school, bro. It was all through my twenties, bro. Yeah, you same, know, bro. I was on gotta, that same. You think you got to do certain shit, be around certain people, do certain things. That's real. Just to be that guy. Yeah, but you don't got to, bro. You just got to be a good person, let God lead, and you know, surround yourself around good people, like-minded individuals like-minded to build individuals. something. Yeah, bro. Like you don't know it all, bro. Yeah, like the young town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and toast. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> my bad, my bad. Like yeah, and toast. Yeah, the yeah, young town. You know, for real, bro. Oh. Like whenever I was young, bro, I used to do the extra, mm-hmm. go to the extra mile, bro. Yeah, but now I don't gotta go to the extra mile, bro. Like all I gotta do is what's right. What's right, man? That's and, it. You know, I That's don't gotta. It. I don't gotta do too much. I ain't gotta do less. I just gotta do. The right thing. And whenever you do the right thing, bro, God will reward you. Good people that surround you will reward you. And then, you know, just not only that, it's just having good people like my man Ben right here. Yeah. For example, if we, I was going to Columbus to film house the other day. Mm-hmm. He slides up to Columbus with me. Like, to have people That's that love. believe in you. Yeah. Just as much as... You know, you doing the right thing Period. is just as important, bro. That's very true. And, you know, I'm just grateful for everybody that's around me mm-hmm. and want to see me be a success. Like, Ben, he don't got to, you know what I mean? Like, he's doing what he's doing, bro. Yeah. He's going to be successful anyways, bro. Period. <laughs> but he's showing mad love. Ben is in every hood near you. <laughs> hey, listen to Ben me. Spicer. Coming ben Spicer. To a hood near you. you. <laughs> hey, listen to me. Like, I'm not playing. Like, oh, if, he's not in, if he's not in Dallas. Yeah. If he's not. He's in Columbus. Colum- well, that's, that's, Louisville. That's where the honey lives. Look you at You know him. what I mean? If <laughs> <laughs> he in a bus, he ought to be working. He in Ireton. He in Ireton. He in Ashland. Nah, he's all in Russell. He everywhere, bro. Period, bro. bro listen, Ben's ben out here, bro. He's in in his, own, his own mission yeah. is just help people, bro. Yeah. And get people publicity, bro, that normally wouldn't get it unless a Ben comes to your neighborhood. Yeah. That's very true. Like you don't know how, how important that is, bro. Mm-hmm. In itself, right there, bro. That's that just, period, bro. It you really from the is. Beginning how important you are, bro. Yeah. To let us, you know, not only us, but let anybody come in. Yeah. On the platform that you're building up, bro. Yeah. And you're taking your time away from your kids. Yeah. Your family, everybody up. in here. That's true. You know that for someone else to be a success. Period, bro. That's like, all. I you mean, know what I mean? That's, like that's, that's literal, cold, bro. bro. Like. It I'm is. out here, and and that's that's one reason I got real jaded, bro. Like that's why I feel why I am so jaded, because I feel like I've shown I expected me out of other people for so long, bro. Yeah, bro. And I it, it hurt my it hardened my heart, bro. I had to really look into myself. Like you can't let this slow you up on your grind, bro, yeah, and on bro. your path for your family and your generational wealth that you're trying to create. Yeah, bro. Like, and it did, man, for a long about, time. Think about why you're doing this stuff. Yes. Bro, like, I forget sometimes. That's why I need the council, man. Like, like, yeah, bro. You, you know? know? That's why you need to. What's the team called? Jedi Council, baby, from that's Star why, Wars. That's why you need them, bro. The Jedi listen. Council. Bro, along your journey, bro, there's going to be some of the toughest times, bro. You yep. have to lean on your faith. Yep. Which... 
with you. I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, look, I'm gonna be honest. You tell me. My, you to tell be honest, me if it my, ain't my fate. You know what I mean, but my you know what I mean, what, whatever it is, yeah, that's what you lean on, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and whatever it is that gets you through it, yeah. whether if it's your kids, yeah, whether if it's your God, yeah, whether if it's your uh your grandparents or your food. parents or Some yeah, people like, tell me yeah. like bro. Sometimes you, yeah, people addicted to food, yeah, bro. Or not even addicted, but like, yeah. That's what keeps them going. You think it's God's like, keeping me alive, Tony? It's that food. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> it's the water you're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, my man, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's it's whatever you think it is, bro, whatever it is that pushes you to the next level. Yeah. You need that. That's very I mean? true, man. I'd say um the real shit about it. The biggest thing, like I said, with the changes from high school and the changing as a person is that jadedness I had for so long, man. It always felt like it was stupid anyways, but I was just fueled by hatred. That's all it was. Just anger. It was just feeling like, oh, I'm doing this for everybody else. Why ain't nobody showing me love? Why ain't nobody pulling up on me doing this? You know, I felt very just isolated. You know, I felt like I was just on my own. But what greatness... What dude have you known, bro? That's not been great. That didn't feel isolated. That's very true. All the, all the, all everybody the, that's the, doing the top. this, everybody in here that's mm-hmm. doing this job feels feels isolated. That's like, true. That's true, bro. You know hey, that's what I mean, that's bro. a hey, just, that's a brilliant, bro, that's like, a brilliant way like to look at it. Everybody's trying to do a, do do a job, bro. That's, yeah, that's true. That and and they're all in, bro. Like that's very true. That's why it's so important that you get everybody. All in, and you just don't do rappers. You just don't do someone mm. in the community. Yeah, you do this little lady that does a sewing gig. Bro. Swear, bro, regular you do, people, you man. Regular people, bro. You regular do the people. The plumber is more important than everything. Damn, bro, near. damn heating it. and cooling, bro. bro. You're not gonna call this superstar that you're worshiping. Yeah, you toilet. You gonna believe call, that? You gonna call Storms Plumbing? <laughs> hey, that's for I, real, bro. That's one of my sponsors, Storms Plumbing. That's what's up. That Shout man, out to yeah, them. Yeah, that's Shout out to call. them. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean, but you know what I mean, bro. Like, yeah, it's important that I get what you're you saying. Like your platform, bro. Don't don't forget about the the little guy. The little guy. You bro. know, don't forget about regular people, man. Because we're all at, we're all. We're all something special, bro. That's true. Everybody got something, man. Yeah, you just got to find it. You, you know what I mean? That's all it is. It's crazy, it's, dude. It's definitely it's definitely a blessing, bro. Hey, but this has been a crucial episode. Thank you guys for tuning in for Together FTR. <laughs> shout out, shout out.